हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज मोहम्मद कैश खान असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर यू आई टी इलाहाबाद अमिड ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन एंड द लॉकडाउन और योर एंड आर सेफ्टी पर्पज हैज़ द कॉलेज डिसाइडेड टू रिज्यूम योर ऑनलाइन क्लासेज फॉर द नेक्स्ट सेमेस्टर वाई आर दिस ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म सो आई विल बी टेकिंग योर स्ट्रक्चर एनालिसिस क्लासेज ऑन दिस ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म In this video, we will have uh, some contents that are syllabus, the introduction part, definition, type of support, 2D support, 3D support. Uh, mainly, I will discuss about the structural analysis. Or uh, in this video, uh, I will discuss about the introduction of the structural analysis. As we have the syllabus from the AKTU in the unit one, we will cover the determinacy, indeterminacy, analysis of cable. Unit two comprises of the analysis of the trusses by various method. In unit three, uh, we will cover up some important methods by finding out the deflection and slope for various type of beams and trusses. Unit four uh, com cover up uh, about the ILD that is the influence line diagram and the muller breslaus principle etc. In last unit five, we will study about the arches and its analysis. Before moving to start unit one. the very first thing that should comes to our mind what is structure and why structure analysis then the answer to this is structure uh, refers to the system of the connected parts used to support the load imposed upon it or a structure is an assembly of different members connected to each other which transfer the loads from space or, or to the ground many two types of structure are there load bearing structure or the framed structure a structure <coughs> if you prepare any structure uh, the structure may be dam may be retaining wall bridges or building the first task that come in uh, that come is to analyze the structure that is the analysis part you have to analyze what type of forces are occurring what should be the value of the load what you should uh, uh, determine due to uh, the load Or what will be the shear force, bending moment diagram, deflection, and the critical section. So in the analysis, uh, we find that various component carry different types of load. The very real example of a structure is your own body, that is the human skeleton, that maintains the shape and keeping the various organs and muscles uh, onto their right places and to transmit the load uh, down to the ground. Again. as uh, we earlier stated that from civil engineering aspect examples are building bridges dam towers etc also in some other branches structural analysis plays an important role that is in uh, aircraft frame tank electrical supporting structure etc structure uh, before moving directly to the analysis part let us recall the support system uh, that is in 2d and 3d what we must have studied in the previous semester uh, that is in the mechanics or the som so support are structural components uh, that provides strength and stability to the structure some main types of support are pick support hinge support roller support vertically guided roller or horizontally guided roller support in the 2d support as we are aware of fixed support that it has three reaction component the three reaction component that is in the form of the x y and z in x direction we have rcx in y z direction we have rcy this is the uh, denotation only rcx rcy mcz that is the moment at uh, joint c about the z direction similarly uh, the displacement in x direction is zero the displacement in y direction is zero this is at the point c that is at joint c and the rotation about the z direction at joint is uh, at joint c is zero now uh, the hinge support similarly in the hinge support uh, we are aware of the two reaction component namely as rx ry in horizontal and vertical direction respectively and uh, delta x and delta y or here y ax or y ay is zero but the rotation is not zero since it can rotate about uh, joint a so the rotation is not zero also uh, we know about the roller support that it has only one reaction it can 
provide only one reaction the number of reaction uh, uh, can be denoted as uh, that is uh, since it is here as shown as at joint b so we can denote it as r b y that is the reaction at joint b in the y direction the displacement in next direction at joint b is not zero so y b s is not zero displacement in y direction is also uh, zero and the rotation since it uh, uh, at joint b uh, it can rotate so it uh, the rotation at joint b cannot be zero vertically guided roller support this uh, uh, can be thought of as um, vertical roller that is guided uh, we have uh, uh, released this in a y direction only so uh, this can uh, generate or produces rax and ma only and in the y direction ry is zero so rx rx will be there ry will be zero and maz will be uh, about the moment at uh, a about z direction similarly uh, displacement that uh, uh, we have uh, uh, described that uh, y x will be zero uh, displacement in y direction at the joint is not zero and the rotation about z direction at the joint a is zero similarly we have the horizontally guided support this can uh, move in the horizontal direction as we have discussed uh, discussed uh, in the vertical guided in the vertically guided roller support we have horizontally guided support that can move horizontal so the number a, so in this uh, uh, r a x will be zero only number of reaction will be 2 in the form of r a y and m a z r a y cover ups the reaction at a in y direction and moment at uh, joint a about z direction will be m a z theta or you can say that uh, displacement uh, uh, in y direction at joint a is 0 displacement in x direction at joint uh, a is not 0 and theta is 0 we have also uh, a familiar support in the form of a spring support in this the number of reaction produces will be only one because it can uh, resist only in one direction so ry in the form of ry here it is denoted as the reaction at a in y direction will be denoted as ry and displacement in the y direction at joint a is zero so far we have discussed about the 2D support, similarly we can uh, go through the 3D support also, fixed support uh, in case of 3D the number of reactions generated will be RCX, RCY, RCZ because we have a 3 axes now, uh, 3D support in, in 3D support and uh, a corresponding moment along each coordinate axis that is in the form of MCX, MCY and MZ, MCZ. Displacement at joint C0 uh, in the XYZ direction also the rotation about xyz direction at joint c will be zero since it is fixed support moving to the hinge or pin support number of reactions generated here will be rcx rcy rcz along each coordinate axis and the displacement at joint c is not uh, is zero but the uh, rotation at joint c is not zero so displacement is zero means ycx, ycy and ycz is zero but theta cx, theta cy, theta cz is not equal to zero because it can rotate about joint A, joint C. Here it should be joint A. In case of roller support, number of reaction will be rcy, number of reaction will be one in the form of denoted as rcy. Displacement in y direction at joint C is 0. Displacement in x z direction is not 0. Similarly, theta cx, theta cy and theta cz is not equal to 0 because it can rotate. Thank you. This is all about the support system. In our next lecture, we will uh, cover the remaining portion. Thank you.